Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss an important concept for gas turbine which is uh, fuel stroke reference. Normally people call it FSR. So let us discuss this topic in detail in subsequent uh, slides. And uh, I am making this video based upon several comments which I received from my viewers. So let us go and discuss this topic in detail. So friends, I am a mechanical engineer uh, with uh, almost 20 years of experience in operation and maintenance of uh, several power plant technologies like uh, gas based plant and uh, coal based plants. So I keep uh, creating small fundamental videos on uh, different power plant uh, technologies. So you can uh, watch these video if you like subscribe the content and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. I will try to reply uh, based upon the time availability. So friends, uh, fuel stroke reference normally called as FSR is a very important uh, parameter or uh, phenomena what we can say in uh, gas turbine uh, uh, terminology. So uh, FSR is basically a fuel supply rate and uh, uh, this FSR may depend on lot of uh, various parameters such as air temp inlet air temperature control, machine loading type of fuel etc. So let us first understand what are the different type of FSR which you can see on your gas turbine HMI such as uh, FSR U which is startup, ACC which is FSR, then FSR manual where you uh, uh, if you want to put a manual control on FSR, then you have to uh, pass any FSR percentage manually like you can give command based on your requirement. So that is called FSR manual. Then FSRSD that is shutdown FSR. Let's say you give a start, uh, shutdown command at any particular load, then whatever fuel flow the machine should follow that should be FSR uh, SD and then FSR N which is uh, normally comes in control when you operate this machine on uh, synchronous mode. So uh, this is particularly for synchronous mode only in uh, synchronous mode otherwise you operate machine on droop then this will not be applicable. Then there is another last thing called FSRT which is uh, fuel stroke reference when machine is uh, operating in temperature control mode. So you have hit the highest exhaust temperature limit that is limiting your machine loading. So these are different uh, FSR conditions. So these are six FSR condition. I will repeat startup, acceleration, manual, shutdown, ISO and last one is temperature control. So uh, all of these FSR control parameters are being calculated at all the time and uh, those all inputs are provided to a, a, a FSR logic where there is a minimum gate is selected. So out of all those value whichever is the man, minimum value so that value will pass through this uh, calculation block. So this is also called FSR min, FSR min, M I N. So this is FSR minimum which will be passed on to gas turbine control system. And there are uh, 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 two types uh, of FSR which you can see on your uh, screen, the FSR 1 and FSR 2. So FSR1 is for liquid fuel, FSR1 is for liquid fuel only. So if you are operating a machine on liquid fuel, so you will have FSR1 values at something let's say 46% or 45% while the FSR2 will be zero because the machine is only operated on liquid fuel. And the total will be uh, let's say this one is 40%, this is zero. 
so this uh, the total fsr will be 40 plus 0 so total will be 40 percent fsr but let's say you are operating your machine on uh, dual fuel and total fuel of uh, let's say 100 percent requirement then you are passing 20 percent from gas 80 percent from liquid so that that combination will be calculated and that will be passed through final fsr Similarly, if you operate only on gas, then FSR2, FSR2 will be some value, let's say 50% or 45% and FSR1 will be 0. So this will be for gas firing and as I mentioned, FSR1 will be for uh, liquid fuel firing. And if you are operating on a dual fuel, so there will be some combination of FSR1 and FSR2. So let us go and discuss uh, this uh, concept also. So you can see when there is an acceleration control in, uh, okay, let's start for uh, first from startup control. So you can see uh, there is a different two comparison block is coming for FSR startup signal. So out of those uh, two signal it is compared and then FSR uh, startup is passed on. Similarly for acceleration control that uh, different uh, calculation logic is there based on TNR and TNH. So how the acceleration curve is there you might have seen the acceleration curve that is the speed is low sorry the speed is little low and then it accelerate and then there is a purge timer and then it accelerate and goes for uh, machine loading. So this part of uh, curve is passed through this FSR acceleration control. And the next one is FSR manual. So let's say you want to test something or you want to put a upper or lower limits on uh, FSR calculation, you want to gag the FSR. There is a special word called gagging of FSR. So that is why when uh, this manual FSR is used, rare, uh, it have seen it is very rarely used or uh, we can say it is not used in most of the processes. So this is a, a kind of a setting when you want to control your upper and lower boundaries of FSR. Then there is a FSR shutdown. So you might be aware that uh, let's say you are at uh, uh, 100, uh, 80 percent of your base load, and if you give the shutdown command, so this at from 80 percent of base load, your machine is not going to go on a zero megawatt. It will follow a curve, a slow moving curve, and then uh, there is a load reduction. And, after, and probably after 20% of the speed, your flame, all flame uh, is going to put off. So that will follow a different fuel curve and those curve is passed through this FSR shutdown. And the next one is isochronous uh, mode of operation. So I assume that you people know isochronous or uh, then you must be aware droop or an ISO uh, mode of operation. If you are not aware, so I am going to uh, create a video for these two in next uh, lectures so you can understand in detail. So uh, come down to this FSRN. So this ISO, uh, ISO isochronous uh, mode of operation where you have uh, fixed speed your speed is fixed like it is not like droop mode where you have uh, allowances in speed to uh, have a little bit variation but in droop, isochronous mode the speed is fixed let's say i am operating a compressor a compressor operation i can uh, i can change the compressor flow but i cannot change the speed so I will operate my gas turbine driven compressor in isochronous mode where my RPM will be constant. RPM is constant and loading may change. I can change the flow through compressor to get a 
required amount of discharge pressure so that type of operation may lead to may called as a isochronous mode of operation so where loading is fixed and speed load sorry uh, speed is fixed and loading is variable so that is a isochronous mode where we are going to create a different logic of tnr and tnh where you want to have a fixed speed so if your fuel control is passing through this kind of mechanism so that fsr will be called as fsr n last control uh, fuel control is temperature control where you have got your uh, hmi and there on that uh, you can see the load control or temperature control mode is on that is that means that your full load is uh, achieved in terms of your isothermal loading capacity your machine has uh, excess capacity to load let's say your machine uh, f6b machine where your, uh, your rated capacity is 36 or 38 megawatt but due to high ambient temperature you are hitting the maximum temp firing temperature and you uh, get those firing temperature at 33 uh, megawatt only that means uh, due to higher ambient temperature you are not able to pump fuel required amount of fuel to reach at the base load because your temperature is already high so in that kind of situation the the fuel uh, control or the deciding factor for the fuel is uh, this temperature control logic because it sees the uh, the maximum temperature being hit at before the getting full load so that kind of situation is passed through this fsrt and uh, this is uh, passed in this all minimum control blocks so uh, you have to keep this in mind all those fsr conditions will be calculated being calculated all the time and whichever is the minimum of all those fsr condition that will be only passed in uh, this uh, minimum selection block and that will be going to your actual fsr for fuel control so hope uh, i have uh, explained the fundamentals of fsr control if you have any doubts or if you have any questions please ask in comment section i will try to answer i will try to answer uh, in uh, comment section yeah thank you for watching this video you may like and subscribe if you like the content thank you very much if you like the content please subscribe the video thank you very much